Exactly. It's, um, yeah, it's very similar. So, so uh, one good teacher, yeah. he compared it with a river that can either have a lot of space to, what do you call it, meander, like to, to, yes. to flow in different directions. But some rivers, they have a very strong current. So when the river has a very strong current, it cannot, it cannot move in many different directions. It will just move straight on like a canal, right? Mm -hmm. So in our, our lives can be like canals sometimes, which have only one single direction. But it can also be like a, a little mountain river, which has a lot of opportunities for change. Mm -hmm. So, um, so when uh, so when this issue came up in the time of the Buddha, he also said that if we have, if everything would be fixed by karma, then we would have no uh, opportunity to lead the spiritual life and change ourselves, improve ourselves. But because the karma is in his words, can be variably experienced. That's what the words he was used or how it was translated. Then therefore there is some, some, some wiggle or some space in which you can change. And that space is more, uh, some people it's very big, other people it's limited. So mm -hmm. there was, uh, there is many stories in Buddhism about people who have been predicted to become like this or predicted to become like that. And there, but still, uh, still were able to change. In fact, the very story of the Buddha himself already started with a double prediction, which, <laughs> which is odd. Mm -hmm. Why would you have a double prediction? Normally a prediction must by definition be only one thing, right? So the double prediction meaning he would have been he, a, he would great have been or a great king. religious leader, right? He would either have been a, a king or he would have been a Buddha, a spiritual yeah. teacher, which already indicates this com continuous probability yeah. of being able to change yourself. So even in the life of the Buddha already teaches us a lot about um, the possibility for individual initiative and but Lumpini, no matter what he he was still there was still a boundary that was predetermined right. which is he was bound for greatness be it a right. universal there are boundaries Buddha. so it was like he was bound for greatness either way you look at it yes yes it like it's going to be some it's, it's not it's person. not uh, easy to to say what is determined and whatnot you're right about the boundaries but it's easy it's difficult to determine what has been set in stone and what hasn't been. So right. in this case of Angulimala, he was predicted to be a very violent brigand or violent, uh, uh, um, violent criminal. Uh, you know, remember Angulimala, right? And, uh, but Angulimala eventually was able to change himself, which is very, like the definition story or the example story of uh, somebody who went against his, uh, his supposed uh, deterministic fate. So um, there is many stories like this in Buddhism of people who went against the stream, uh, went uh, against uh, the tendency to change themselves. And uh, that's why the, I heard some, there is an organization actually in America, which is now has come up, has met with some controversy, but it's in generally the, the title of that organization is very good which is uh, against the stream. And that, was a, that is a Buddhist term that you, you, you go against the tendencies of society and tendencies of your mind that is negative or unrealistic. So Aguli Maga, he was, or whatever his name is, he was, yes, they that's thought right. he turned out to be bad. He was what? I thought he was tricked. I thought he was tricked by one of his teachers into killing him. Um, his teacher... His teacher asked him to, yeah, you could say he was tricked. He, the, his teacher asked him to, to kill a thousand people as a sort of a final present to finish his education, final yeah. dedication to this teacher. He was jealous, correct? But, but in Buddhism, we do believe that, that he, had previous, he already was predetermined in a violent nature, uh, which can be seen in his previous lives, which are described also in Buddhist scriptures. Okay, and, uh, that, also the fact that there was also a prediction made when he was born that he had a violent future and uh, 
this prediction uh, was from Buddhist perspective comes from his previous lives, the energy that comes or the karma that comes from his previous lives. But still, even that, even all those conditions show a very like, much like a more like a canal than a river, right? Mm -hmm. Like a, a life that cannot change much anymore, but still he was able to change because as soon as he went on the right path, all the good karma that he once did, that he had once done, they came back again. Like I already mentioned, once our mind is positive and we do good things, the good things that we've done once, they often obtain an opportunity to also, uh, also reap, uh, we also uh, uh, ripen. So uh, that's why uh, in some pe cases, people's lives can change very quickly. I changed myself very quickly. Some people uh, who knew me before I was Buddhist very, very, had a very difficult time recognizing me now as a, as a, as a Buddhist monk. So, so there's a lot of opportunities for change in, in life. And um, that's, that's the stories that we can see in Buddhist tradition. And those stories are, are also still in the modern day. Yeah. So, so 